You're right, YouTube, so welcome to this second No No Buts and No Explanations of the week. We did an episode on Monday, and the question was what, Joel? Oh, who was going to finish in the top four? Who was going to finish in the top four? They went through their answers, you commented down below, and I'm now going to reveal what would have won you points. The correct answer was, in fact, top. Manchester United. Wait. Second is Manchester City. Oh. Third is Chelsea. And fourth is... No, Arsenal. No. It's Arsenal. Yes. There's no change. Spurs aren't good enough to get past Arsenal. We've got... Well, we're not going to buy anyone, so I'm not going to add anything to that. Wait. City, they're going to they're going to have a new manager. There's going to be a new push. They're going to have more nows about them. United, they just win things, even with David Moyes. And yeah, that's it. So that was the no no but no explanations from the last episode. If you've got those points, congratulations. 12 points to all the people that got it right, well done. Today, we're going to talk about the next No Ask No Buts No Explanations question, which is going to be, who is going to get relegated from the Premier League this season? Your job is to comment down below your answers, just the three people you think are going to get relegated. We're going to start with Rich from the Armory blog, go. Uh, I'm going to go for Hall, Crystal Palace and Stoke myself. Um, re reason being, basically, Stoke, I can't see Mark Hughes doing any good after QPR. And the others, I think, just won't have enough to stay in the league. What about when he did well at Manchester City for a period of time? He didn't do well, though, did he? He just got the most consecutive draws ever in the league. That's not good for him. Yeah, but he did OK. He was like, considering, yeah. considering he was like just starting with the money. And he didn't do bad when he was at Blackburn, I suppose. But yeah, he, did, uh, yeah. he didn't like David Bentley, so that's really a bad point, of course. They wanted yeah. to get rid of him. Like two consecutive years, they did. You know, QPR. He had two seasons. He didn't do anything. He had lots of money to spend. Will he have? He hasn't got as much money. That's your no. That's your no. No ifs, no buts, no explanations. Question answered. Joel. Uh, I was. I was going to go for a similar three, uh, but with the replacement of Sunderland instead of Stoke. Sunderland. Sunderland. Hull. Crystal Palace and Sunderland. <laughs> The reasoning for Crystal Palace is because I think, particularly with that Zaha, they'll be the weakest team in the league. No. The reason for Hull is because I couldn't think of another team. Um, and the reason for Sunderland is because I don't like them. And then I like, I don't. Chris honestly, well, uh, aside from Takanio and uh, the huge agenda I have against him, I don't care about Sunderland. So, uh, like, <laughs> so. If you're going by the most disliked club, surely you get Tottenham relegated. No, I, I would never want Tottenham relegated. Why? Because it, it's, it, like, it's, it's fun for like three months, yeah. but then for It'd the be rest... hilarious, what are you talking no, no, about? No, 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 no. Rich, back me yeah, up, no, it'd no, be no, hilarious no. if Tottenham got relegated. It'd be yes, great, no. but I enjoy seeing the struggle every year in the league. Um, okay, I'd still rather see them being relegated. When, oh, who was the manager when they, needed, I, I, when I they were like, nearly relegated? I'd want them to finish 17th every year. Yeah, okay, no, that would be fun. Because like, there was a, who was in charge of them when they were like, after the first 10 games? Ramos. They should, have, they should have stuck with Ramos at Spurs. That, that would have just been a joy for everyone. <laughs> Ramos. I wonder what Ramos is up to now. Anyway, Mark Upson. It would have been funny if they got relegated, but at the same time, you wouldn't get the derby, so... Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what we were saying. No, it's a, fair, it's a fair point, but I'd still like to see them get relegated, because it'd be funny. It would be hilarious. Mark Upson. Uh, for me, it's going to have to be Hull, uh, mm. Cardiff. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. And Crystal Palace. Job the reason for Crystal Palace is they finished... When did they finish in the league? Fifth? Sixth? Yeah. There or thereabouts. Cardiff, cool, the second best team in the league. Yeah, I just. Who have they bought? Cornelius, but that's it. Who? <laughs> yeah. Who? Who? I raised the question. No, it's no about set, no explanations. Who? But it's a question. It's just these three have come up. They don't like. They've got With any, any game. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so we've gone so, through there. Yeah. Make sure you comment down below on who you think is going to get relegated. Just the three teams. No ifs, no buts, no explanations. And then make sure you subscribe for the next episode of No ifs, no buts, no explanations, where I will reveal the answers. You can see how many points you've got. So thank you very much for joining us, Rich from the Army Blog, Joel from Messy Seconds, Mark Upson from Mark Upson TV. You can check out their channels down below. And I will see you on Friday for the next episode. Thank you very much. Boom, bang, bye. <laughs> As a controversial one. What, Chelsea? What, no, I don't even know which way you've put that. Chelsea first. Chelsea first? City. I fancy Mourinho to win the league. Chelsea first? Really?